Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. I hope you're well and had a nice weekend so far. We've got some really lovely patterns to talk to you about this week. I'm quite excited to get into them. Um, apologies, I sound very nasally and for the whole time you will see me wipe my eyes. I have got the most awful hay fever as I will have now for the next month. So if I sound a bit bunged up from in all the videos, that is why. And anyone else who's living the hay fever doom, I feel your pain. It is rubbish. So let's get started. It's much more exciting than my hay fever. First pattern we've got is a fabric godmother fleur dress and blouse. This was released this week. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Right, PDF only, sizing on this is a UK six to 30. It's so beautiful, everyone has gone nuts for it and I can completely see why. So there are quite a lot of variations as well, which is really nice, you get quite kind of a bit more bang for your buck. So there are two dress variations. You can see it's quite a simple kind of um, cut around the neckline, kind of uh, round neck or crew neck, um, darts underneath the bust, then it's a gathered skirt. It's got this lovely detail down the front, so it's kind of, um, it's done up with little ties which you can tie into a bow. It's super cute. So dress wise, you can pick between sleeveless and sleeves and the sleeves are quite, you can see really lovely kind of big exaggerated sleeves. And then the blouse variation, you can either make it with sleeves and like a little peplum, or you could take that off and make it slightly cropped, or you can make it sleeveless as well. So you could wear it with like a t-shirt underneath or just, you know, like as a little summer top. I think it's so lovely. Um, really nice dress quite simple actually to make because you've got the tie fastenings it's not going to be you don't have buttonholes to do it's actually quite nice and simple so i think this is a really clever clever design from them so that one is definitely worth going and having a look at then we've got a couple of patterns from puff and pencil the first one is the top stitch vest i love this i think it's so great so it's essentially a kind of worker jacket without the sleeves um, it's got big boxy pockets on the front you can see um, and then there's like a seam down the centre back it's got a really lovely collar but it's a really great sort of spring layering piece and I say spring because I know we're supposed to be in summer but it's definitely not that warm in the UK at the moment um, so sizing on this it comes at a UK 6 to 24 and it's PDF only for this one the second pattern that they've got is so, oh, I really love this dress. So it's the puff and pencil keyhole dress. I will show you the line drawing so you can see what's going on because the image with the silver dress, it's hard to kind of work out quite what's going on. So the line drawing, you can see at the front, there's um, it's high necked with a really lovely keyhole detail, darts at the bust, then it's cut quite straight with slits up the side. The thing that makes it kind of cinches it in is this really nice kind of wide belt that you kind of wrap around a couple of times and tie at the back. And I really love, if you can see the line drawing, the little tie echoes on the back of the neck as well. So there's a keyhole opening at the neck on the back with a little tie. And it just, I just love that they've got the, you kind of got those two and they look, yeah, it's just a really gorgeous dress. I think Puff and Pencil do really, um I'm saying really really about a thousand times they do great um simple patterns kind of made interesting and yeah this dress was just great then we've got a pattern from the makers atelier it's the um pleat neck blouse which shouldn't be as hard to say as i found that <laughs> um it comes in a uk 4 to 20 um it's pdf only I liked this, so it's a, let's have a look at the line drawing, start with that. Raglan sleeves, um, you can see, and then it's got this quite dramatic kind of um, main detail, it's pleats around the neckline. The thing that I like about this is that they are sewn down and that quite often with this sort of star top there is a bias binding around the neckline, but this doesn't have that, which I think makes it feel kind of a bit more luxurious. Um, you can see that there's a bias binding around the cuff on the sleeve and there's also some gathering into the, that cuff as well. So it's a nice kind of simple blouse, but I think if it very, obviously with all of these things, but the fabric that you choose for this, I think could really elevate it and make it feel lovely because you can make it something almost kind of quite sheer and have a slip underneath 
or yeah there's quite a lot of scope for it then we've got a pattern from helen's closet this is called the orbit bag um it is such a lovely little pattern if you're thinking you know you want a nice project that doesn't have to be too involved so the thing that's nice is it marries quilting with bag making um so if you've never done either this is a really nice skill to kind of dip your toe into a bit of quilting and see whether you like making blocks and then making bags as well so you can see it's circular and it's got this really lovely kind of star detail which is a very sort of classic quilting um block for me well it feels like quite a classic quilting block but it's just yes yeah, so lovely and then obviously you've got the kind of circular detail and it's if i show you the line drawing so you can see it sort of on its side you can see that the width of that is um five centimeters so it's actually quite um quite a decent amount of stuff that you can probably get in there um, it's a good size but yeah so if you're looking for like fun I was thinking this could be a really nice thing to make with someone if it's summer holidays you've got children I was thinking this could be nice to kind of start the block bit and get them to make the block and you make the rest of the bag anyway that one is there for you I think it's really really cute now we've got a lovely little set from Atelier Jupe it's the Billy Top and Finn Shorts and they come together as a set which is great I actually thought it was just a short <laughs> and I was like oh no you get the top as well which is great so it's um I'll show you the shorts I'll show you the line drawings you can see the top's very simple grown on sleeves v-neck quite loosey goosey cut kind of slightly cropped and then the shorts are nice actually they're my kind of favorite style so they're kind of flat fronted but they've got elastic at the back so it means that you get some stretch and some movement which is crucial when wearing a pair of shorts um or and then you have the elastic at the back but you can also make a variation if you'd like it with elastic the entire way around so it's up to you but those were really nice and they'd be perfect for summer holidays um pdf only for this one sizing on this is a uk 8 to 26 and then last but not least we've got a new block pattern from lou orth so she is a predominantly quilt wear quilt quilt wear quilting designer and um she's just released a really sweet little block which is a daisy flower and i just love it so if you are thinking that you'd like to do a bit of quilting or you're thinking about a you know quilts percolating the back of your brain have a look at this one because i just think it's so pretty and it would look lovely with them all sort of lined up but um yeah that one is there and available for you if you would like it so that is it from me this week um, i hope that was good i also completely forgot to say at the beginning thank you so much to everyone who came to the sewing weekend or i hope you all enjoyed it um we've had some such lovely emails saying what a nice time people had had which is great because it's sometimes hard to know with an online event how everyone has in how much everyone's enjoyed it but um yeah we were so delighted to see so many of you there so thank you for coming and yeah, that is it from us this week. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you very soon. Bye.